Hi everyone, back again. I'm going to do a note to nautical look and I hope you enjoy. First we're going to start with some Beijing shade stick and it's here somewhere. There it is. And we're going to apply it all over my eyelid just to get everything ready. Right, first we're going to start by applying the Beijing shade stick all over the eyelid. This is what I use to create a base as, you sh as you'll know if you watch my videos. So we're just going to go quite a way up and create a bit of a shape. You'll not see it on your eye because it's a light colour, but we've covered quite a way up. That's to put the colours on top of. So we're just going to do the same on the other eye. Now this is going to be a really cool look and I'm really pleased about doing it. There's more YouTuber requests coming up after this as well, so once you've got your beijing on or any light cream base that you want to use, I'm going to use a white colour and I'm just using a white MAC pigment and I'm just going to apply it with a brush I had. There's it gone. There it is. With any little brush. Be sure you dab any excess off because you don't want too much on your brush. I'll get it all over your face and just going to apply it all over that shade stick. Just cover the whole area that you've just put the base. Now I wore this look later today and when I put it on I thought I should show you how to do it because it looked really nice. So I really hope you like it. This is just something I had a thought of. Now I know there's Mac are doing a nauticals look which gave us the idea to do something with mine today. This is different to this but I like it so I hope you like it as well. So you've got your white on all over where you've got your shade stick so you've covered the shade stick in the white. Now we're going to take, if I can find it, a smoky grey colour which brush and we're going to use that one take a silver grey of a pro palette I don't know where it's from to be honest because I got it as a gift and I like it I must admit it's cheap as chips I think I think I'm just going to take the silvery silvery grey on the brush just a little bit and we're going to just apply it to the outer corner it's not going to show up too much but that doesn't matter because we're going to be adding colour to it and you just want to blend it up and out. I would say go halfway across, just a little bit more. So you just want to go halfway across and blend. Now because the colours are quite similar that you're putting on the white and the silver grey, you're not going to see much, you're not going to see much difference. So it doesn't matter if you over blend or the overlap. Same again on this side. And bring it down a little bit. And just halfway across from the outside going in. Then once you have that, we're going to take a dark blue and it, this one's a matte, I think it's a matte colour and it's just there, any dark blue will do, they're all the same, matte or shimmery it doesn't matter, same brush because you've only had a light colour on it'll not affect it, just take your dark blue, gently because it's dark and just apply it slightly to the outer corner, like that, just gently in the outer corner of the crease blend it in with the white and the silver you don't want this to be too much, you just want it to be subtle and same again on this side Remember not to put too much because it will fall all over your cheek. 
and it's a very dark colour. So if you've put your foundation on already and this falls on it, it will ruin it a little bit. Then once we've got that, you're going to take a liner brush and we're going to just dampen it, if I can find a damp wet wipe. And you're just going to apply it to the dark blue again. And we're just going to take this and we're just going to line the outer corner of what I lid. You can use a mixing medium for this, it'll help the colour stay a bit better. But I'm just using a damp wet wipe just to show you. The effect's quite nice and you'll see in the end photos, it's quite a cute look. And I've noticed when I went shopping today that there's loads of clothes with the CLS pattern on and all stripey, you know. And that was my seat. <laughs> so it'll, a really good colour combo to complement them summer clothes. So we're just taking it from the halfway across, you're not going the full way. Darken that a bit more. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to take another blue, but this is a, it's a super soft eye crayon, it's a bit of a tongue twister, and it's number four, and it's by Barry M, and it's a, like a light pearl blue, and we're just going to apply that to the lower lash line. To be honest, this whole colour combo is quite cheap. The MAC pigment's the most expensive, I think, but anybody can pull this off and not have to spend much, so it's not a big deal. And I'm really trying to do different brands on here to show you a whole wide spectrum, so you won't have to spend much if you can't. So it's for everybody. So once you've got your blue on, we're going to take the liner brush again, I'm going to dip it back into a dark blue eyeshadow. And we're just going to line the outer corner. We're just going to take well the blue and meet it up, line it out and meet it up with the line that we made on the top. And do the same on the other side. Just halfway across and meet it up with the line that we created across that side on the top. And just darken that a little bit more. So I'm just dampening this and the colour pops a bit better when you dampen anything or you use a base. It's always ideal if you like darker colours. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of the white and I think I'm going to use another white crayon but I haven't got the thing off yet so I'm just going to open it now quickly actually I have got it open where is it it's an NYX pencil and it's in number white 906 and we're just going to apply that to the inner corner and blend it into the blues so you've got a gorgeous contrast of blues going there do the same on this side And if you want, you can put black. I'll do black for you, it's sure. So you've got it like that, and we can change it. You could do this for day one if you want to go for evening, you add a bit of black liner. So we'll just add this to the waterline. does a nice twist on it and also like I said if you're going out on night time and you don't want to put all new makeup on stick a bit of black liner on and you're good to go now we're going to use well these are cheek color creams and this one's Cha Cha by Paula Dove and I do like the color creams I'm right in the cheek color creams at the moment more than I am blush I think cream is the way to go to be honest 
because powder is not that good, I don't think. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this on the cheeks, just to give a warm glow. Just give a little smile and just blend it in with your finger on the apples of the cheeks. Same again on this side. It's not too much, it's just right and it gives that rosy little glow which you would get anyway if you were out in the sun. But that's that. And then we're going to do the lips. Now the lips are going to be red. Where's that liner? I'm going to line mine with a dark pink Barry M liner and it's number two. Now I don't have a red one yet but I'm going to just use this. This is just to get the line right and then I'm going to go over with some red lipstick. If you have a trouble with your lip liner, just steady your little finger on your chin. Same goes for eyeliner really, same thing. If you're not steady with your hands and you're worried you might make a mess, just steady your little finger on your face wherever you're going to be putting your liner. We're going to take some Barry M red lipstick. It's red, it's number 121. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. Now for the mascara. I'm going to use the plush lash again and it's by MAC and it's black I'm just going to tip my head back because you don't want to ruin all <clears throat> you don't want to ruin all the work you've just done give it a bit of a wiggle root to tip covering each lash hang on who is it sorry my sister come in to borrow some Nurofen. Right, where's that mascara again? Right, so we'll take the mascara and just add heaps of mascara onto the lashes. Just tip your head back so you don't catch the skin. It really does help, mind you, doing that. And the same on this side. And a little bit on the bottom as well, optional. And there you have it. Nought to nautical in about 15 minutes maybe. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Zoom zoom. <laughs>